Well, we're really pleased that uh, the governor was able to come down. We had a ceremonial groundbreaking for the new Lake Barkley Bridge at Canton. Uh, it has been ongoing for several months now. They're, they're ramping up work fairly quickly. Um, and we just early on, the weather was bad and we didn't have a chance to do a groundbreaking, so that's what we did today. Uh, the Lake Barkley Bridge is actually just getting started pretty good. Here at uh, Egner's Ferry, uh, we're about 55% complete. Uh, they have a lot of the steel on the, uh, uh, on the east approach span of the new bridge. Uh, just over here, they're constructing the basket handle arch. Uh, within the next few weeks, uh, painters will start painting it. It will be completely painted before it's put into position. They will then jack it up on these barges and float it down. Uh, once the uh, piers are completed, they will float it down and then they'll uh, pump water into the barges, lower them, and set the, the new main span in place. We've been plagued by uh, weather. We've had uh, record rainfall this year. Uh, we've had the ospreys on the bridge. That has limited some of the activity. Uh, the good news with the ospreys is that they have two little ones in the nest. They normally would be expected to start flying and functioning on their own uh, probably in the next two to four weeks. Uh, to help make up some of the time lost to weather, they're planning on starting on each end, uh, putting in uh, rebar, they will then come along and start putting in the concrete decking and it will move from each end coming toward the middle of the bridge. Uh, the plan here is to get the uh, bridge itself completed. We will make temporary road connections to the new bridge. That will allow us to move traffic off of the old bridge onto the new bridge. We will then demolish the old bridge to get it out of the way and then they will take uh, the earth from the existing causeway of the old bridge and dredge it up on top of this causeway to help finish it out and then once it's half of it is finished then we would move the roadway over to that permanent uh, to a permanent roadway and then finish out the rest of the causeway from there. And then once traffic is actually say two lane traffic is moved over to the new bridge then it would probably be about another year of finishing work to actually get the bridge to a point that it's, it's completed.